As autonomous technology becomes more common in both commercial and non-commercial vehicles, safety remains the number one concern. AI, a supplier whose specialty is adaptive high-performance LiDAR solutions, has recently introduced Foresight Plus, the latest addition to its sensing portfolio. AI's CEO, Matt Fish, explains what Foresight Plus offers and how it can help save lives as well as enhance transportation and mobility in the future. According to NHTSA, out of the 419 autonomous vehicle crashes reported in 2023, 263 of them involved Level 2 ADAS cars, while the rest involved fully autonomous vehicles. And across those 419 crashes, NHTSA reported 18 deaths. But as the number of autonomous vehicles continues to grow, AI CEO Matt Fish explains how Foresight Plus will help decrease the number of autonomous vehicle crashes. This sensor does something that no other sensors do today, and that is see in four dimensions. So it can see in 3D like humans can, and the fourth dimension is about speed. It can uh, uh, calculate the speed of an object very easily. And this is beyond the capability of cameras and radar sensors that you find in the car today. Fish says this advanced LiDAR solution offers remarkable path planning, obstacle avoidance, and prediction capabilities with a 20% increase in sensor range and 400% improvement in spatial resolution meaning it can track pedestrians, cyclists, and other vehicles at up to 300 meters and can detect small objects like bricks and tires at up to 200 meters. Plus, AI says its Foresight Plus can help with path planning because it can identify road surfaces such as cement and asphalt at up to 100 meters in direct sunlight and low light environments. AI claims overall this will allow the driver to have a more comfortable hands-free driving experience at highway speeds without having to intervene. And Fish says not having a big spinning mirror inside the device increases the vehicle's reliability. You hit potholes and these things can come out of calibration. And after years of use, they can actually break uh, fairly easily by replacing with this very, very small uh, uh, semiconductor uh, type device. Uh, it is much easier to achieve the reliability pieces that the automotive industry requires. So size is about reliability. Since Foresight Plus hardware has to be designed up front so it can connect to the vehicle's network, Fish says it's not an aftermarket component. As for its software, Fish says it will need to be updated as it evolves. And he says he believes AI's software is a key player in helping AI stand out from its competitors as well as propel the autonomous vehicle industry. We have a very unique software configurability in our sensor. We call it software-defined LiDAR. Uh, puts us head and shoulders above the rest of the players in this area. He continues to say the mainstream OEM and vehicle industry is a key use case for LiDAR and Foresight Plus. But he says AI is seeing equal demand for the technology in the commercial trucking industry as well. Foresight Plus could also see an increase in demand if NHTSA's proposal to make forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking our requirements in U.S. vehicles gets passed. Thanks for watching. For breaking news, stay with autonews.com. Have a great day.